What's good, greatness gang? Welcome back to another beat making video. Yes, let's switch it up. Let's put something else on the channel. Let me show you how I usually go about producing music. Uh, even though it varies from time to time, but uh, big a uh, big software that I use or a big tool instrument, whatever you want to call it, that I use is a uh, this thing called Arcade by a company called uh, named Output. And uh, here it is right here. It's basically like a cheat code for music producers. You got a bunch of different uh, packs. They, they call them lines, but a bunch of different type of categories. Uh, I'm going to scroll through for you to kind of see what I'm going to be talking about. So basically in all these different packs right here, it's a bunch of different loops, sounds, hits, uh, a little bit, of everything like, and they give you a description. <clears throat> Excuse me. They give you a description of what's in each. So let's say your EDM producer, this pop underground thing right here will probably be good for you. Uh, if you're a producer that likes to use a lot of vocal chops, uh, hook will be a really good one for you as well. Uh, so you can really take this anywhere. You could keep it genre specific or take little bits and pieces from all different type of packs and create something new. So I'm going to be uh, just trying to make a beat in like 25 minutes or less. So. Let me just b browse through some sounds and uh, let's see what we come up with. I'm going to start the timer once I decide my sounds. I like that one. You're going to download that one. Let's see what else that they had on the home page. I like that atmosphere type sound. I'll download that one too. I think I might use that as my base. My base is foundation of the beat. Let me just name it. What else we got? I'm being lazy, so I'm just browsing on what they got recommended for me. I think I used one of these sounds in here before, but I don't mind using it again and flipping it. I like that one. Uh, I know I'm probably not going to like what's in this one. Let me just see what's in the old country one. Let me download that just because. And matter of fact, uh, I'm going to name that one country. I'm going to name this one random. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this because there was some sounds I was browsing the other day that uh that sound good. I think it was in this one, this uh studio keys, the timeless sounds of grand pianos, upright organs, electronic pianos, and more. Uh, I thought I saved it. Let me see. See if you want to create some R&B or some gospel or something. This would be a really good pack to use.
I mean, that sounds good. When I'm creating, I'm usually like, when I hear the sounds, when I'm browsing, I'm like trying to make the beat in my head, even though it might turn out how I want it to sound, or it might not. Oh, also, I forgot to mention about, uh, you see this uh, corner right here? You can change the key of the sounds. Let me uh let me loop a sound so you can know what I'm talking about. All right, let me just loop that for you. Oops. Let me put that on there. I was messing around earlier. Right now he is in B minor. And I could just change it. And it sounds so clear, you don't hear no artifacts or nothing like that. And it usually has its own built-in effects if you slide the knobs. As a matter of fact, let me make sure I uh, save this. Oh, we can't save that right there. I'm going to save it in my downloads. All right, so let me get back to that main sound I wanted to use. I'm going to start the timer now. Try to make me move a little faster. Got drums in here, bass. I think it's, I think this it.
just try to put some drums down to get a foundation of a beat going. But it also, that usually helps me as well. on this one speed it up G minor. This sounds out of tune. I can't use this one. working but it's kind of not working if that makes sense i'm gonna go back to that one later all right now and this gonna be the basis of the beat we're gonna write g minor right here sometimes i do little weird stuff like this so i can know what key i'm in and it just works for me every producer got their own way of uh, working and doing things but High choir, one low choir. I don't know if you saw what I just did. When you uh when you change in your key, you can also change the octave. See.
got a lot of delay on it. put the uh, choirs into the same channel as the hi-hat. That's why I sound filtered now. not starting on the here we gonna adjust this I wanna start right there Uh -oh. 
So I don't know if that's gonna work, but we could try. that bass but it's kind of hard to hear it let me uh see what other bass lines we can find they got a whole uh bass pack in here i think it's called bass lines what is it called yeah it's called bass line so if you're making a beat or a sample beat or anything <clears throat> and you just like I'm not really good at playing bass lines or I need the perfect bass loop to like finish my beat off or start my beat off. You could just come in here and just 
look for something you could search it by genre or anything like that i'm gonna look in uh hip-hop i think i found it already The reason why I, I turned the octave up so I could hear it better before I edit. And like you showed me earlier, you could move these around and start wherever you want it. You don't have to start it at the beginning of the loop. and the piano by itself. I might need to EQ this bass first though. Thank you. 
looping too long, uh, so you can hit a second head for the bass change up, my bad. Uh-oh, the timer stopped. The timer stopped, but let me just let you hear how it would sound. sound if I add like some vocal chops on here see as you can see like you could get a quick foundation of a beat going pretty quickly using this like I will start with something like this and I will go back and uh edit it take things out remove something I might throw a, a sample over top of it chop up a record something like that Oh, uh, that's not good enough. Like I said, Hook is one of my favorite ones because they got some really good vocal stuff in here. Like the female vocal stuff is pretty good in here. Just to see you, baby. Or you could pitch it up and make the male vocal sound like a female vocal. I don't, don't want to sound like Chip Monkey. I don't know the reason. I don't know the reason. I don't know the reason. You do like you. I know you need me. Okay, where's the loop? I need to take that loop off. I have no control. All this time I love you. It's inside my bones. See something like that. Something else I heard in here that sounded just to good. See you, just to see you, baby, baby. Just to see you, baby. Just to see you, baby, baby. Just do do crazy. Don't come running back. Don't come. Don't don't come. I have no control all this 
first time I love you, it's inside my bones this though I will uh with that vocal part I will put a bigger reverb on there it's a simple reverb to make it sound nice and full I hate when it do that. That is so annoying. I think it's because I got too much stuff running. Hold on. That's it, man. But you get the gist of it. You get the idea of it. That was arcade software that I use when I want to cook up a beat. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Greatness gang, I appreciate you.